Oh, it's the long age question. Where are you going to school? Is recently often asked to high school seniors. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about that. Joining us uh, via Skype is Dr. James Hurley. He is the president of Tarleton State, uh, Tarleton University. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, I've got three kids. One of them's out in, in school, but I've got others right behind there. How often are you asked, hey, what is the best way to figure out where my kids should go to school for higher education? <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, I will admit I've got you by one as a, as a dad of four myself. My wife and I have this conversation quite often. <laughs> so it starts at home for us, you know, where, where we'll will our four children go to school? Uh, my, my sons jokingly say they will go wherever dad's not the president. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we do have, yeah, we, we do, I do get this question a lot uh, from parents that are uh, genuinely concerned about sending their child to the right institution. Um, and on the outset, I, I, I wanna make this comment that I made to you earlier. Um, it's really important that um, people understand that they're, the right institution exists for every kid. Tarleton State is the right institution for some students. And for some students, it's not the right institution. And so I think it's really, um, it boil, boils down to what that student is looking for in their, in their um, higher educational experience. Is it uh, a traditional residential campus like we have in Stephenville, or is it a degree completing program uh, like we have at Waco? Um, there on the MC campus of MCC and so it really it, it comes down to what in terms of educational attainment what is the student uh, the young person looking for yeah let's talk about how you guys are on, are on a quest right now to become one of the best regional and universities around let's talk about some of the steps you're doing yeah and so as you know Brian in the la over the last five to six years Tarleton State has had um, a, a period of incredible growth where we literally nearly doubled our class size um, and we're, we're a little over 13,000 students I think we're a little over 13,100 plus students uh, this fall and so uh, we've been on a, on a trajectory of growth that a lot of other institutions um, haven't seen and now it's 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 uh, we're at the next level and so um, we have to start thinking about how do we uh, increase our institutional profile where we're known beyond Texas because uh, recruiting students um, and retaining students is really becoming um, not only a domestic um, opportunity for for institutions but we have a lot of international uh, institutions that are recruiting their kids out of Texas as well because we have great density and so for us to be able to keep the best and brightest here, uh, my mantra is we, if we recruit them from the region, we train them in the region, they'll stay in the region. And Dr. So Hurley, go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to ask you, Dr. Hurley, your recent move to NCAA D1 in athletic competition. Let's talk about that. That's pretty big. Yeah, and that's part of that institutional profile. I mean, we want to raise that institutional profile. We want to get to... Uh, a level where folks outside of Texas know Tarleton State. And so as we compete for these students, being able to raise that profile and be nationally known, and we, we, we are an educational institution, but athletics provides a huge front door and front lawn for visibility. There you go. Hey, we're running out of time, but real quickly, if somebody wants more information on classes and all that good stuff, what's the best website for that, doctor? Yeah, so tarleton.edu, they can go there on our main page. Of course, all the social media uh, sites are Tarleton State, and uh, they can find everything they need to know right on our front page. We're three, three clicks away. We appreciate it. And by the way, we love the hat back there and the lasso. You're <laughs> quite the cowboy today. We appreciate it. Well, you. you know, we have the number one rodeo team in the country, well, so there you it's go. perfectly fitting. There you go. It does. It does. Well, we appreciate your time. We look forward to seeing you here in the studio soon. Thanks, Brian. Have a great day. Thank you.